Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 ARM on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 chip and we're going to be installing a virtual machine utilizing Windows 10 ARM. Um, a lot of this information will come from the video that Martin Noble made. I'm going to be going into a little bit more detail on a step-by-step -step guide designed for beginners. So the very first thing that you need to do is to go and download the Windows Insider Preview of the Windows 10 ARM. So I'll leave a link to the description of what to do. If you're not signed up to Windows Insider, then you'll need to follow the instructions when you get to the page to sign up with your Microsoft account. But basically what you need to do is scroll down and then download Windows 10 ARM 64 Insider Preview Client. I've already got my image file here, this VHDX file, so I'll just uh, proceed now. The next step is to use ACVM developed by Chaos T. And what you need to do is go to this page. And when you get here, we're going to click on the latest release, which was uh, updated yesterday. So what we're going to do is download this ACVM.zip file. So once ACVM is downloaded, I'm just going to double click on here. And we're going to have an application which we're going to open up. So I'm double clicking on this, I'm going to press OK and we'll go to System Preferences and we're going to go to Security and Privacy and General and we're going to allow ACVM to be opened via Gatekeeper and then we're going to be able to open this application. So ACVM is a pre-patched, pre-packaged interface for QEMU, which is a type of open source virtualization software and this will allow us to run Windows 10 ARM inside a virtual machine. So once you've opened ACVM, what you do is you grab your VHDX file, which we just downloaded, and we drag it onto the main image section. And then all we need to do now is press start. So once that's complete, we're just going to select our region and then continue on here. So there we have it, we have Windows 10 installed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm just gonna do a little quick whip around the Windows 10 ARM. I've reduced the resolution of the desktop so that this window appears larger. So um, if I have a quick look, it seems to work pretty fast. Um, if I go to something like, let's say Word, Pad, I don't have the actual office here, but uh, this seems to work pretty speedily. Um, this feels almost kind of like native performance, um, to be honest. Let me see, can I open OneNote? So these are all the ARM versions of the Windows applications. Well, that's kind of crashed. Let's have a look at camera. Obviously that's not gonna look through my actual webcam. It seems to not be working very well. Let's have a look at Solitaire. So this looks like the store version of Solitaire. Looks like it's kind of built for, built for mobile, but uh, let's have a look. It seems to load very quickly. Let's try moving things around a bit. That does seem kind of fast. It seems to run really well. It's a credit. Ooh. Ooh. These menus are big in um, 800 by 600 resolution. Yeah, so this seems to work really well. Let's go back and try a different game. Pyramid. No idea how to play this. <laughs> okay, let's close that. Let's have a look a bit more. What are the applications that we've got installed here? Xbox Game Bar. 
it's not opening. It would work if we had our internet connection working. This is Skype. Anyway, as you can see, the experience isn't exactly very user friendly and there's still a huge amount of bugs and issues, which I'm not sure whether it's caused by the image file, the technical preview itself, or if it's caused by incompatibility with the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. But um, we can rest assured that the developers and volunteers working on this problem will be able to deliver some kind of usable and workable experience. It's good to know that desktop windows can be run on a M1 Apple Silicon Mac and that we'll be able to use standard Windows applications in the future going forward. Even though we've lost things like Boot Camp um, and we don't have things like Parallels or VMware working, this is a first step in a really good solution long term for this chipset and platform. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.